Hi, my name is Bernard Bailey, and this is a screencasting tutorial for the basics for creating a screencast using BSR, but mostly focusing on using the smart board recorder. These are two freeware utilities. Well, BSR is shareware. Uh, if you want to get the expanded features, you need to pay the registration cost. Smart board recorder is a free download available from smart board. You don't actually have to have a smart board installed in order to operate it, so it's very handy. The Bulent screen recorder. I found this a very good utility for doing just one window at a time. So if you don't want to get a really big movie about everything that's going on, on your computer at once, they have a lot of choices on how to set it up. I found it to be very useful. They have a, a nice range of tutorials. If you'd like to find out how to make your, get more control over how to create your uh, video objects. Um, it is shareware and they do ask you to uh, register and buy it should you continue to use it. Another utility that I found um, is the smart board recorder. So you go to Google, you type in smart board and you go to their software downloads page and you can uh, they have have support for both Mac in the Windows and uh, Linux which is nice. I haven't tried on my Mac so I don't know if it works there yet. When you download it uh, there'll be a self-extracting launcher uh, I'm assuming if you're ready to do some screencasting, you know how to expand and install the software. Uh, it'll sort of start up automatically once you install it the first time. To see what the controls look like to get it going, um, you'll see it in the system tray. If it's not already, you can right-click and activate the recorder, which is the only utility I've been fooling around with. Very handy. Um, once you start the recording, you'll see the controls here. Uh, you can hide these or you can hide them by minimizing them or bringing them up to the top so everybody can see them. You can pause and resume recording as you go along. That When you click stop it'll ask you to save your file. Uh, when you do save your file it'll bring up a dialog box. Uh, it saves it in AVI format and uh, it's, AVI format can be then uploaded to YouTube or TeacherTube uh, you can put it, on, it in a video blog or vlog, if you will. Uh, this is a very nice little utility, and it's very uh, it's nifty. It's, it's a lot easier to use, actually, than the BSR. Um, so I appreciate you checking out my tutorial, and I uh, uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.